Hey, it's Lucas, and today is the 1st of February 2024. I have officially completed 31 days of dry January. So against all odds, I went and I did it. I did the whole of dry January. I didn't have even one single drop of alcohol. And I'm pretty damn proud of myself, if I do say so myself. There were points there where even I thought that I wouldn't do it, but I was determined. I knew that I had to do this, and if I had not have done this, I would have been so, so disappointed in myself, so depressed, probably, like, I don't even know how I would have felt if I'd have not completed it, but I know that it would not have been good. But here we are on the 1st of February. I've yet to have a beer, but I do have one right next to me. So this funky little number right here is from Beer Bliotech. It is Hazy New England IPA, refreshing, vibrant, smooth, and hoppy. This is from my Beer 52 box that I do reviews on on my other channel. I'll put it on screen now if you do want to go check that out. It's been a bit dead for the past month because, like I said, dry January, I haven't really made any alcohol-free content. Even though I pre-made a bunch of videos to put out through January, I just really haven't felt like making content over there, so... It's been kind of dead, but now we're back and there's two new videos up over there. There'll be a third one up tomorrow and going forward. Again, they're not going to be daily, but I'm hoping to get that channel active again. This is a 3.4% New England IPA. I picked this one because it's the lowest percentage in the entire box. And after not having any alcohol whatsoever, I didn't want to jump in with the strongest beer because I'm a bit of a pussy. I was always a bit of a pussy. I never really liked the high percentage beers anyway. So this will be a nice, good little stepping stone to get back into it. So without further ado, let's get to breaking our spray. I've missed that sound. Got the glass that we got in our beer 52 advent calendar. I'm still mad about this. This is such a shit little cop out fucking glass. Could have at least put beer 52 on there, but you know, I'll stay salty about it. Does that not look amazing? To me, that looks perfect. Maybe the head's a little bit too big, but I can't wait. Smells very tropical. Fruity. I was gonna say it smells hazy then, but how, what the fuck does that even mean? How can it smell hazy? <laughs> Cheers. I guess. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Not the beer itself, just this moment. Proved to myself that I could do a month. Part of me wanted to keep on going, but the other part of me wanted this. I did, I wanted to have this beer. I feel like I deserve this. I've done really, really well. And now is where the true challenge starts. Because the Beer 52 beers, when I first started getting Beer 52 last year, after my operation, I started drinking again. I said to myself that I would just get these and I wouldn't drink anything else apart from if I went out. That didn't happen. We all know that didn't happen. And now going forward, I don't want to say to myself that I'm not going to drink unless it's like an occasion or a beer 52 or whatever because that's kind of silly. That It doesn't work when I do it like that. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. Or at this point right now, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. I can learn to what's the word i'm looking for moderate i kept going to say mediate but that's not what i meant i meant moderate i can learn to moderate my alcohol intake i think where it needs to begin is at work and i know that sounds stupid because i'm never drunk at work i have three max four beers when i'm at work but you know it's just because everybody else is doing it i work in a pub and whenever somebody Obviously, I pour people pints all day, every day. So, my brain, I go into work and I'm like, I'm fine, I don't even want a beer today. And then as soon as I pour one for somebody else, I'm like, I want it now. I want that to be mine. And it's too easy to just have one. So, the way that I'm going to try and do it is I'm going to sample the guest beers. And then once the guest beers are gone, I'm not going to drink unless somebody buys it for me. And we'll see how far that goes on my days off. 
I'm not going to buy alcohol to have in the house apart from the beer 52, obviously, and the occasional little speciality can that I find in a supermarket that looks quite nice. But I'm not going to go out and buy just shitty generic lager to have a beer just for the sake of having a beer, you know? And I've said this to myself a million, trillion, gazillion times, but now we're going to see. Now is when the true test starts. This hazy IPA from Beer Bibliotech is very very nice it's not blowing me away it's not blowing my head off the low alcohol percentage was probably a good shout it's fruity definitely is hazy like its name says i don't really think i've got anything else to say this is just a super short video to say we made it i did it i'm super proud of myself and now is where the hard work starts i'm a little bit apprehensive going forward i really don't want it to have to be all or nothing but now is where the test starts and take a shot, I was going to say take a hit then, take a hit of your beer every time I say this is when the test starts. <laughs> but yeah, nothing else to say really, I'm really proud of myself. Um, I'm going to go enjoy this and a couple more off camera whilst I play, again, Lego Fortnite. I'm fucking obsessed with that game at the minute, I'm so, so sad. <laughs> but yeah, um, anybody who has been on this journey with me, well done you, we made it. If you didn't make it, then that's also okay at least you tried if you didn't do any dry january whatsoever then you know i hope you enjoyed all your beers all the way through january but now i can finally join you so yeah i'm super proud of myself i'm really really happy actually so yeah gonna go enjoy this peace